Hello, everyone. Welcome to the ARM Software Developer Breakdown. My name is Robert Wolf, and in this video, we're going to be speaking with Mark Minier from ARM, who's going to walk us through Parsec, otherwise known as the Platform Abstraction for Security. Now, before we dive into Parsec, we're going to first meet Mark. So here we are with Mark, uh, and I'm very excited to get to know what Parsec is. But uh, as we usually do in these videos, first, it's very important for us to get to know our guest. So uh, let's, uh, Mark, if you don't mind first kind of telling us a little bit about yourself and how you are involved with Parsec. Sounds good, Robert. And uh, thanks for having me here. So I'm Mark. I'm a part of the software ecosystem development team here at ARM. And I've been part of the Parsec project for, I guess, since its very beginning, to be honest. Prior to this, uh, I've had various roles in product development over the last, say, 20 years. Before I did a transition over to more of a project management role as a ecosystem development manager. So I'm excited to be here to talk to you about Parsec and describe how you can take advantage of this when developing applications that need to meet a certain level of security. All right, Mark, I, very nice to get to know you. Uh, I think that you're the perfect person to talk to about Parsec, seeing as though you've been working with Parsec since the very beginning. Uh, now, uh, before we dive deep into the topic, uh, could you give us kind of like the bird's eye view of what Parsec is and why it came to be? As you know, Robert, we're in the middle of a transformation where applications are moving from cloud and data centers closer to where the data is being generated. So these are these applications are moving to the edge. And, and that's adding some extra challenges to the uh, developer landscape. One of them being that uh, your attack surface on these devices is much bigger than what you're normally exposed to in the data center and in the cloud. And that demands security services for key management and cryptographic operations, often tied to hardware primitives. The other challenge that we see at the edge is this wide variety of hardware that you'll be deploying your applications to. That together with all the various hardware root of trust as well as software root of trust builds a need for an abstraction layer that's going to give a common set of APIs to the developers and still tie to these unique security root of trust. So Mark, I, I just think that's super interesting how you're describing an environment where there's this vast variety of hardware for developers at the edge, um, increasing the attack surface and how Parsec kind of plans to solve this problem. So maybe if you could just take some time and dive a little deeper into Parsec and what it's doing uh, to address this overarching problem for developers. As you can see from this diagram, Robert, the Parsec framework sits between the cloud native development environment and the underlying hardware. And it provides access to the security services in a platform agnostic way. And that makes it a lot easier for developers to build and run secure applications. So Parsec runs as a service on the edge device, and it responds to requests from applications via a language native client library. There's no need for changing of your, uh, of your language when you're developing, you can just talk directly to this, this API, and it's then going to take your request and pass that along to the secure services that are underlying in your hardware or as part of a, a software uh, secure environment. The type of operations that you can perform with Parsec are your general encryption, such as uh, dealing with uh, asymmetrical or symmetrical keys, uh, key provisioning and management, hashing, signing. So you would leverage those standard APIs to perform the security operations and Parsec will parse those requests and send them back to the available backend and then return the replies back to your applications. So Mark, thank you so much for walking us through the layers there. And uh, you know, you've talked about various hardware and developing applications on the edge, but uh, have you given any thought on multi-tenancy or how does this concept uh, touch on a multi-tenancy environment? 
Yeah, that's that's a really good question, Robert. Um, from the very beginning, Parsec was designed with multi-tenancy in mind. It, it's a concept that's quite common in uh, cloud native development. And it's, it's something that's quite challenging when you consider the edge space, especially around the security uh, aspects, mainly because a lot of these uh, hardware security uh, primitives are single tenant by nature. So Parsec is in a position to uh, provide a multi-tenancy uh, environment, support a multi-tenancy environment. And the way it does that is it would leverage a secure ID provider that would provide the IDs to the applications, then be leveraged by Parsec to segregate the assets and provide a clear channel to the uh, security primitives. Yeah, Mark, uh, thank you very much for answering my question there. I think it's an important concept uh, to, to, uh, to address there. And it's very exciting to see that Parsec is addressing the problem. Now, I think the biggest question here to close this video out with is how do developers first get involved now? So we need to kind of share some resources, I'm hoping, uh, for the developers to go explore, read more, and uh, of course, join us in a future video uh, for more deep dives into this topic. But to get started, where would developers go to learn more about Parsec and you know begin participating in this community? Right, Robert. Um, let's start by uh, showing where Parsec can be found. Uh, Parsec's been donated to the CNCF. It's a sandbox project. Uh, it's been recently donated. And that's pretty exciting. And the reason ARM did that is because Parsec is not here to solve a problem just for ARM. This is a this is a edge challenge, and it's it's aiming at at all chipsets. If it was only solving for ARM, we we wouldn't be doing it justice. So we really need to think about this as a as a turnkey solution for all hardware chips. So part of the CNCF, um, you can find the repository, all the the code and the work that we're doing in our GitHub link, which you can uh, see below right here. And uh, there's there's also an opportunity for developers to talk to the team that's uh, that's that's running this this project, both from uh, Docker, uh, you know, Arm, uh, Red Hat. There's a number of of key players that are active today in this in this community. Uh, we're on the Slack channel, so come and see us on our Slack channel. And uh, we also have bi-weekly meetings scheduled. Um, and, and those sessions, you know, we, we'll, we'll tackle problems and questions that come up from various uh, sources, developers, customers. And then we'll, more importantly, put notes out, you know, describe the minutes, describe what's been discussed, and also give progression on, uh, on what's, what's happening with Parsec. So uh, we covered everything there. We had a nice chance to meet Mark of course, uh, get a nice high level view of what Parsec is. We took a little bit of a deep dive, uh, talked about uh, the abstraction layer and what the problems are that Parsec is solving. And then of course, pointed you all to some amazing resources and the community Slack channel where you can all get some more information um, about Parsec. So personally, Mark, I wanna thank you for being here. Um, thank you uh, for you know sharing all this information. Is there any last things you'd like to add? Thanks for having me here, Robert. Uh, really happy to be able to talk about Parsec. I guess if I was to say one last thing is come come join the community. Come check out what we're doing. It's very exciting work. It's addressing a real life, a very challenging problem for developers. Come help us build it out. Awesome. Better words have not been said. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, as, as all the links and all the resources that we shared in this video, you'll be able to access those in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you all. See you later.